Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Suhanna, I make videos and I do post a new video every single week. Yes, my hair is wet and my foundation is a little too dark for me, I'm aware, but we're, we're already here. So let's just get into, the, into today's topic, which is what makes wavy and curly hair curly and how hormones and your hair texture are related. So basically your hair is obviously dead protein, it's made out of keratin, and depending on the shape of your hair follicle, whether it's round or flat, that will determine if your hair is straight or if it is wavy, curly, coily, kinky, whatever. So basically if you have a round hair follicle, your hair strands are more likely to grow with amino acids that are further apart, which will cause your hair to be straight. Whereas when your hair follicle is flatter and depending on how flat it really is, it will change the spacing of the amino acids and how they bond. And if they're closer together, your hair will be more textured. If they're further apart, again, it'll be straighter. Now, when you hit puberty or if you get pregnant or you hit menopause, your androgen levels change. And your androgens are obviously male hormones, but they are in female bodies as well. We have androgens and we have estrogens. The increase or decrease in androgens can actually change the shape of your hair follicle, whether it makes it rounder or flatter, but usually with an increase in androgens, your hair follicles become flatter, which can cause your hair to become more textured. So a lot of you who have commented about your hair changing, usually say around puberty, you know, you went from having pin straight hair to having wavy hair, or you went from having wavy hair to having curly hair. And that's because the flatter your hair follicle is, like I said, it's a lot easier for those amino acids to bond, which will cause them to form a ringlet or a wave. Your insulin levels can also affect your hair texture, not so much affect it in a sense that it can make your hair curlier or straighter or wavier, but more its thickness, is it coarse, is it soft? And when you get older, if you have insulin resistance, your hair is more likely to be brittle and drier. It can also cause androgenic alopecia, which is male balding. Even if you're a female, it is possible. It's not, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but there have been links between your insulin levels and hair loss, hair thinning, hair softness, coarseness, texture, that kind of stuff. So knowing these things, we're left with the question, will my hair change? Will your hair change? Is our hair gonna change later on in life? And it might or it might not. It really, really depends. If you're someone like me who has, you know, thinner hair on the top, my hair is like, I'd say a medium thickness. Uh, it's not very dense. I have like a medium amount of hair. It's medium thickness, thinner on the top. If you're someone like me, and you have my kind of hair and my kind of wave pattern, it is possible that your hair texture can change later on in life. Whereas if you're somebody with naturally thick, pin straight hair, you're way less likely to experience changes even when you hit menopause or have a baby. If you get pregnant, your hair can actually get a lot thicker, but the actual wave or curl pattern may not change. To those of you who have commented asking, is it normal for your hair to go from wavy to curly or curly to wavy or curly to straight. I hope this answered you, helped you understand a little bit better. Like I said, your hair might change, it might not. It all really depends on your hormone levels, your androgen levels, your insulin levels. And honestly, aging is gonna come for all of us. And once your hair turns gray, it becomes a lot coarser and um, a lot wirier. And when your hair is like dry, coarse and wiry, obviously the shape the wave pattern, the curl pattern is going to change. So your hair might not change now. It might change in the future. It might just be drier in the future. It all really depends, but only time can really tell. Yeah, I hope you guys found this oversimplified explanation helpful to those of you who, you know, needed an answer, wanted an answer. Here it is. Uh, to those of you who have a science background and want to give a better explanation than me, like please feel free to do so in the comments. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, then don't give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can go ahead and do that. I do post products to my story all the time. But yeah, that is basically it. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.